Here's where you can find Zarya's creations on social media. Since you're here and before you go, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button and leave me a comment. Hi guys. So today I am doing a quick um, punch board review or product review from the We Are Mimi Keepers. I purchased this tag board from Tuesday morning and it was only $7.49 as you can see here. And I've made, um, I've handmade punch boards, well, gift tags before, but I saw this and I saw it was only $7.49, sorry, $7.49. And being as though I am addicted to Tuesday morning and I had a budget of $10, I picked this up to see um, just how easy it was going to be to use this gadget versus um, hand doing it. Now, I'll be doing a series on um, card making tools. So this will be my first one that'll go into the playlist and I'll create a playlist because you guys know I'm getting into paper crafting. And so let's just get into, okay. and I've never opened it before. Okay, so inside there are instructions on how to use them and I'm glad they have pictures because I am a demonstrative learner. So if I see it, then I can do it and recreate it. I guess I'll keep the plastic. So let's just go through. I'll just set that up there in front of me. So oh, this already comes off and it says, easily create tags from one to 3.5 inches wide. And there's nothing on the back. And so the first thing that I see is that this thing is, does it come out? Okay. So if I'm looking at the picture, I see that this thing is placed in here. So let's just, I wonder does it click? Is it supposed to click? We'll find out if it's supposed to click. I feel like it'll come out easily if it doesn't click, but it doesn't go in any further. So maybe it's not meant to click because then you probably couldn't take it back out and put it back into the harness. All right, so when you lift it up, I'm seeing that there are some letters here and it goes from A to L. So I'm assuming that these are the sizes. And then on the sides here, it says small tag, large tag, but they're right over each other. So I guess this, these are the size of the papers that go in here. So if I'm like a half an inch to an inch. So I guess you would put your paper in there and what does that do? Oh, it punches a hole in it. So that must be the hole for the top. All right, so let's get a piece of paper and let's get started. All right, so I had a piece of scrap paper um, just hanging around and this scrap piece of paper is two inches. Okay, so it's two inches and I guess you would need to have it to where I guess you can put it wherever you want. So I'm just gonna put it at H. Is that good? It says enter the blade into the cutting track and cut. Flip the paper and repeat steps one and two, aligning the same angle. So it's at H, I'm gonna pop this out and stick it, there's a little, in case if you guys didn't see it, there's a little opening right here. Let's see if you can see it. So there's a little opening right here. You might see those little circles in there. That's where I'm putting the circle from the blade. So I'm gonna just put it in there. I'm gonna go back to H. 
All right, and then it just says cut. So let's see. Uh oh. I already used an error because I moved the paper. And so there's the cut. So then it says flip it and repeat. So back to H. And I guess you gotta hold the paper. All right, that one was a lot smoother. But it doesn't look even. Did I not do this right? I'm gonna, this is the first time and I'm gonna get it with you guys. Well, actually, we said user error, right? Because I moved the paper. I kind of assumed that the paper was going to be um, stuck. Okay, so let's just use I have a sheet of paper here. All right, so I have this sheet of paper here, and it's it's about two and a half inches, this sheet right here. So let's go to the letter G. All right. So I have this little rectangular piece of paper, and this paper measures about two and a half inches, two and a half inches. So I'm gonna put this at a level, level G, is that what they're calling it? I'll put it at the angle of, <coughs> excuse me, letter G. I'm gonna take my little knife out and I'm placing it in that, that groove. And then I'm gonna cut. Make sure you hold on to your paper because it does move. Easy cut. All right, so take it out, flip it over, back to the letter G. Oh, that came out really easy. And then I have my tag. So then I'll, I'll put that back for safety reasons. Then I turned it here, and so that little um, circle, oh, and it does have a two and a half mark here, so you would, let's see if I can bring it closer for you guys to see. All right, so it does have a two and a half, two and a half mark here and here. So you would place your paper in between. So I guess that'll automatically give you your middle dot. And then I just press the button. And now I have a hole where I can put a ribbon through and use it as a gift tag. So that was pretty simple, pretty small. Um, which is cute, and then you can just deck out your gift tag however way you would like to use it. All right, so that is my quick review for the day. I will um, definitely use this, I'm gonna say that, um, because it's just an easy swipe and an easy punch. So I'll definitely use this, and again, it was $7.49 from the We Are Memory Keepers, and I got it from Tuesday morning. And so, oh, there's pictures on the back. And it just gives you some examples of how to deck out your, your gift tags, which is super cute. All right, guys, so that's it for now. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if you use this or if it's just easier for you guys to use the um, scissor or the knife method. And until next time, see ya.